All right, for the first question, we're going to follow the same steps as before. So we're going to subtract first in order to isolate the term with the variable. And we subtract 3 from both sides. So we end up with 2 over 5 t is equal to 8. Now, we could there's two things we could do right now. And uh, one is um, multiply by 5 over 2, which gets rid of both the uh, fraction and, oh, sorry, the coefficient uh, two-fifths. Um, but I'm going to do this in two steps now. And so I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 in order to get rid of the fraction. So if I multiply one side by 5, I have to multiply the other side by 5. And here, the 5s cancel out. And you're left with 2t is equal to 40. Divide both sides by 2 and you get t is equal to 20. And if you sub in here, uh, 2 fifths of 20 is going to be 8 plus 3 is 11. Here, we subtract 4 from both sides of the equation, and we end up with n over 3 is equal to negative 10. We multiply both sides now by 3 to get rid of the fraction because the 3s will cancel out. So I'm multiplying both sides of the equation by 3. And again, 3 goes into itself once and into 3 one time. So the left-hand side of the equation is just n is equal to negative 30. And if we sub in, we get negative 30 divided by 3 is negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. So left side and right side work out. So here, same step. First is subtract 5 from both sides. And we're left with negative 3 over 4 z is equal to negative 6. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. And when you do that, we end up with negative 3z is equal to negative 24. We divide both sides by negative 3, and you get z is equal to 8. Now here, we could do um, a couple things first. We could expand these into distributive property or we could divide both sides by 1.2. Um, I'm going to divide both sides by 1.2 because I think it's easier. And when we do this, we end up with 2x because the 1.2s cancel out. Minus 3 is equal to, well, 12 goes into 72 six times. So uh, 1.2 goes into 7.2 six times as well. We add 3 to both sides. And we end up with 2x is equal to 9. Divide both sides by 2, and you get x is equal to 9 over 2, which is 4 and a half. So you could have also said x is equal to 4.5, which is both of these answers are acceptable. So again, um, I'm going to divide to get rid of the multiplication here. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 3.5. And we're left that with then the negative 3.5s cancel out. So we're left with 1 plus 3r is equal to negative 2. We subtract 3 from both, sorry, subtract 1 from both sides and we're left with 3r is equal to negative 3. Divide both sides by 3 and r is equal to negative 1. Okay, next one, we're going to divide both sides by 3 
and that gets rid of the coefficient of 3 in front of the bracket. And so we're left with 5.6 plus x over 3 is equal to 0. And so now I'm going to subtract 5.6 from both sides. And we're left with then x over 3 is equal to negative 5.6. Multiply both sides by 3 in order to get rid of the, um, this is x divided by 3, so we multiply by 3. Do the same thing to the other side. And we're left with x is equal to negative 16.8 because negative uh, 5 times 3 is negative 15 and uh, 0.6 times, sorry, negative 0.6 times 3 is negative 1.8. So when you add 15 and negative 1, negative 15 and negative 1.8, you end up with negative 16.8.